Hey there guys, I'm Danks564 and this is continuation of our Let's Play of Atom RPG and... Well, I... Off screen I ran around a little bit and I bought myself some super steam pack. And I gave two of my steam packs to uh, Fidel here. Just because, well, I think I'd prefer him alive even though he's not extremely effective at anything. But that way he'll at least be able to carry stuff which still is useful. I think we need to go back back to Dan and on the on our way there we'll uh, look into that ancient car crash area. I need to, where we need to talk with Chigurov. Yeah, and after that we'll go go to Atradne. I'm, I'm still not decided whether I should go from Atravna, I should go to bon Bunker 113 or or to Piregon. Probably... we'll see. Okay, so go over here. I bet you like that... what was that? The red fighter village where we need to go and uh, clean uh sure mid carboniers let's see what they have okay uh he's go no no that's not what i wanted it show me what you got m16 Lock picks. That'd be good. And that's not very expensive, frankly. Let's see if we can buy that. I mean, we ha we should have enough money, right? Yeah, we should have enough money. But what else? What can I give him? That uh... maybe just sell him that ammo. Uh, we we are definitely not be in, in getting any of the that weapons soon that that uses that ammo. So you know what? I, I think I'll just sell it. And probably. Let's move like three. Just throw some money here. Okay, good enough. I I, w I probably will have to like have it in hand for it to to be applied. Let me see. So my lock picking right now is at forty. If I'll put put it in my hands. Will it... Yeah, yeah, I, I need to have them in my hands. That's fine, that's fine too. Okay, off we go. Let's go right over to here. Hmm, where does this leaf lead? I mean, uh, another one? Sure, let's meet another one. Maybe if they have uh, some sort of a pistol. Hmm. No, this one with the with a the card. They don't usually have anything good. I might want to buy this nine millimeter rounds though. So forty five rubles. Uh, I don't think we need that. Uh, that stone tool we definitely don't need. Mm, what else? Uh, toilet paper. I don't think we need toilet paper. Uh, and just some money. Um, just some money. There we go. Trade. Okay.
No foi gão. Almost there. How's our hunger? We are hungry. Somewhat. So let's eat something. Okay. Good enough. Now, let's see. Uh, what? Shouldn't be he he be here? Ancient car crash. I need to talk about the criminal known as Ch Chigurov. Well, a lone loner named Rihard. Who is near the site of an ancient car crash. Um. Oh, there we go. There he is. And come on. Okay, wh why don't we make some herb tea? Boil. Oh, so herbal tea gives. Uh, Plus one endurance, apparently. Okay. The old bearded man smirks at you. Before you manage to start conversation, the old ermine welcomes you. Hello, sister. The spirits warned me about your arrival, but I didn't believe them. It's, uh, it's not often that I get visions here. Did you stumble upon my humble residence by mistake, or have you come to visit me f from my previous life? Hmm... I came to you looking for a mutual friend, Chigurov. Hermit frowns and looks away from you. Uh, looks away from you. Chigurov, a noble bandit with uh, whom we used to rob the merchants in the good old days. My sworn brother, Ch Chigurov. Nope, I haven't seen Chigurov. Uh, no, my, maybe the spirits of the forest have seen him. Uh, I'm on good terms with them nowadays because I'm I'm a child of nature and stuff like that. They will reveal their secrets if you do me a couple of favors. Man, it's not a great time for games. You'd, you'd be doing me and Chigurov a favor. Man blushes slightly but then nods in agreement. Shame on you. Can't you do the spirits a favor? All right, have it your way. Chigurov came to visit me a couple of, day, couple of days ago. It was purely business. I had a couple of dynamite st sticks laying on the ground here from the time when we were in a gang together. For self-defense, he bought them from me. I don't know whether he needed them for a job or just take them off my hands. I'm pacifist now. You know that. I haven't seen him since. Okay. Why doesn't he? Why does he need uh, that dynamite? During our robber days, he was always careful not to hurt anyone too much. Once we had to kill a watchdog, and he held vigils for it for a whole week. He kept whining about the dog so much that I got sick of it. He usually gave all the stolen money to the poor. Of course he did. And now what he deployed? Uh, and now and now what? He deployed a, s a sudden urge to blow something up. Well, that's weird. Okay. Uh, maybe he'll open some area or something. Don't remind me, I, uh, I was horrible gangster robber. Uh, thank the great spirits I have killed. I haven't killed anyone. That I can recall, but I've broken plenty of faces and even kneecaps in my day. I'm ashamed of that now. That's why I uh, became a her hermit. Hermit? Hermit. I mean, you aren't one of those pe of people whom I've done wrong, are you? Because there's no point in getting revenge now. I'm a pacifist. I'm, pra I'm practically a monk. I even cut ties, uh, cut off my index fingers so that I can never pull a trigger again. Okay. He shows you his hand, his index fingers are bent and glued to his palms with scotch tape. 
Uh, your fingers don't look cut off. Well, I, I'm not a psycho to cut off my f my fingers for real, but while my scotch tape is holding my fingers taped to my palm, I won't be able to harm anybody. Okay, I don't think I want anything from him or do with him. Let's just get out. Let's go to Dan. Let's tell him about the forest. Okay. Uh, sure. I wish, like, who who gives the the quest for the car? I wonder. It'd be really cool to buy one. Should I buy? Yeah, I probably should buy more of that. Shouldn't I? What do I give him for that? I don't want to sell it to like traveling caravan here because even if I'll sell it, I'll probably want to sell it to someone I can buy it off from if I'll need it maybe at some some point later for a quest or something. Okay, let's just pay him the money. And enter. Yeah, uh, we need to go that way, right? Yeah. I'd really appreciate if he'd given me a gun of some sort. Hey, you. Ah, what what news do you bring me? I came to report. I visited the Roaring Force and came to an expected conclusion. So that's how it is. And what's your conclusion? It, turn, it turned out that the forest trumbles because there is a massive colony of mutant insects digging their tunnels in, underneath. Then rises an eyebrow in surprise and immediately calms down in a few in a few moments. Fascinating. So it's because of mutants. Well, that's something new. But this seems more logical than all these nonsense stories about pre-war equipment and underground trains. It, it was worth it, though, to find out once and for all what's going on there, to put an end to all the rumors, no matter how stupid they were. The leader takes out a bundle of his of bills from his bosom and hands it to you. There you go, better late than never. Your traveling allowance, 1,300 uh, rubles, and you earned it all. And you earned all of it to last uh, Kopek. I guess, Penny. Unless, of course, you feel like bragging, in which case I can't guarantee you payment in full. I understand. Okay. Got some money, got some experience. About thousands experience more needed. Uh, is that all? Is that? Why is it? Why isn't he healing? Thirty from more forty nine. Like, come on, man. Um, come back tomorrow. Okay. I guess we can leave for now. And go to Atradna, maybe we should talk to... Right, in Atradna we need to, to find that... There's a sack, there's a... There's a book, there's also... 
uh, the shield, right? Didn't we get the, the quest to, to find the shield? Like from the dude in the in the in the bar. Huh? There is a game, Pirigon, Krasnazamilny. Hello Recruiter, no, that's not. Hmm. I'm fairly certain we 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 had We talked and he he told me that yeah I, I he definitely did tell me that we need to go to Atradne, there is like a shield of some sort there. Some dude ran away to the, the, to from like the museum with a shield and he wants it back in the bar? Why is it not in the in in the listings of missions? Okay, that's Pirigon. Um, let's try to talk our way out of it. I don't think there is any point in fighting these bandits. They, they didn't have anything useful in them the last time we fought them. And we just got beaten up a little bit. For nothing. Uh, use it. I don't know. Use a ration. Sure, let's meet the scavengers. Uh, where are they though? No, there they are. Which one? You? Uh, Rusty Makarov. Hmm. Nah. Don't think I need that. Okay. See ya. I am a bit poisoned, but it doesn't look like it's affecting me much. There are plenty of water that I can refill, like all the water in, in Atradne for sure. So I will probably just drink some water now and... So, first thing first. Where would be... The sect leader be... He's probably... You know... He's probably here only during daytime. So you there first. Here's your book. The barkeep takes the book from your hands, looks it over, opens it for a moment and finally places it behind the bar. Thank you, friend. Here, take this for your trouble. It's not much, but I, I believe it's, it's enough. Now I'll finally have something to read when there are no customers around. Now wait just a moment. Uh, he crouches down below the bar and comes up with a crate of beer in his hands. After setting that down, he fumbles a fistful of rubles from his uh, short, short pockets and hands it all to you. You get a crate of beer and 50 rubles. Oh come on man, I've come a long way only to give you that book. Alright, fair enough. Can't complain about our finances in Krasnoznamion is quite far away. Here, 150 rubles more. Oh, so 200. Thanks. Let's go talk to the this guy. I have something to tell you about the bandits. Apparently nothing. Uh, maybe... Probably didn't change. 
I don't think the the wares change. Do I buy this Nagan for my my what, what's his name? Yeah, because I definitely don't need that beer. Does he have money? Yes, he has some money. Should I should I buy it or should I not? Oh right, right, right. I actually looked looked up what to do with this book. We need to basically go to the circle, stone circle, and read the mushroom. And, and apparently it'll summon some some monster. So we're gonna have to try and do that right now. Um. Oh, I I doubt he ha he has enough pistols to use that nagan, though. I wish I would at least wish I could would be able to you know check what kind of skills he has because I cannot do that. Like Fidel, come on, tell me what what your skills are. Can I ask you a few questions? Do you think you're Trotna? Have you heard interesting rumors? Like I, I cannot even ask him any questions. And water, water, water. Where, where are my water balls? There are three of them. Okay then. Where, where I think yeah, there are the stone circles. Let's go and try to summon the. This is like a Cthulhu call, uh, reference, and through the book. Where is it? Where the hell is it? There it is. I wonder if, if only one will be enough or or what. So, how about we save? We eat a mushroom. And then we will use the book. Cool. Uh Maybe that wasn't such a great idea. Uh, okay, couple of steps back. And start shooting it. Well, it's... You know what, let's just... Shoot its body. And it's still slightly injured. Wow. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't think it'll work that well. It's way too strong. I could maybe... Mm, I could maybe do something, but you know what? I think I'll just... Uh, I'll just not do it now. I think I'll just wait for till I have some sort of weapon that I can actually do a lot of damage. Maybe like something automatic. And we'll go from there.
Go on, Fidel, by the way. You know what? Let's just fucking kill him. Uh, kill him. Heal him. Oh, it uses medkit completely and alloy. That is a bit unfortunate. Frankly. Uh, I don't think I can. I would be able to, like, heal him in the med... Uh, med station here. Yeah, he only fixes me. Okay. Yes, that's it for now. So, wait till daytime, I guess? What? Okay, we need to, like, wait... Six, and maybe three. No. Oh. Hungry again. And three more, I would say. Where's the sick sect leader? Or... Everybody's still sleeping. Come on. Come on, people. Let's go look for the shield. W would it be would it be buried somewhere or what what's up with that? Like he said someone lived here who someone went here, not lived even maybe. No, that's not the guy. Who are you? Oh, it's a mailman. It's a bird man in police cap and an old duster. His old back sits on an old travel bag. Judging by the sheet of paper stuffed into the bag, this man is a real life postman. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything interesting in here. Maybe some of the guards know. Anybody knows? Like. How are things going? So the man stretches his back and flexes his neck muscles. He probably is tired. I've been better. Uh, I would love to relax, but it's my third straight day on duty. All right, friend. All right, my friend. You know, it would have been mighty nice of you to get some beer from me. From shit. I and I just sold like all the beer. Oh, there is a sect. Devi Krishtu is telling the assembled disciples about harm of clean, uh, cleanliness. From time to time the woman casts a quick glance in the direction of Atradnan and frowns. As she notices you, she stretches out her arms to you with a big smile on her face. Yes, yes, come to Varna Banana Devi Krishtu. The ill and the lame of all places, she will not disdain you and she will not turn her full moon-like face away from you. Ah, I remember you, never mind. In my universal wisdom, I will accept you, your company too, wandering child, even though you're a greedy creature. In your wish to drink from my wisdom for the second time, you take the, the right of the first sip from the recent converts of, of, from Atradne. Whom I can't see yet, and whose hypocritical authorities refuse my request to give a, a lecture on harm of hygiene. Well, good, good for them. Good for them. I haven't, f uh, I haven't fit uh, thought they they're narrow like a needle hole gates. What? I haven't fit through their. I haven't, I guess, fit through their narrow like. Needlehole gates, but many did hear my words and threw their boom booms and aprons away in the name of uncleanliness. Is she like a priest of Nurgul or something? Why are you doing this? It could easily lead to typhus outbreak. Silly child, uh, Varna 
uh, eyes start getting out of their of their orbits. She nearly re ready to slap you hard. However, the rudiments of common sense retain her hand. Don't you know that all diseases are trails of invisible God? S uh, scrap your dish night and scrap your dish night and day. Polish your sh shabby floors, but you can escape the sting of his little servants, the universe and bacteria who are their their legions. Only those who believe believe in Devi Krishna will be saved from the shameful boobos under and under Armonian. Okay. Only those who believe yeah. There is simply no way they could learn about you. Well, they have to get ill and uh, What about the people of fraternal China? There, there's simply no way they could learn about you. Will they have to get ill and die? The moon smiles sadly. We got a big heart, child, if you think about the our Manchurian brother. While you yourself are steps away from the f of fires of hell for excessive free thinking in the presence of the goddess. But rejoice and sing praise. Those who don't know and can't know about Divi Krishtu are not headed to hell, but the dim and dusky light of a limbo plane, where the Chinese men and women, are, as well as other distant tribes, endlessly spin among shapeless mists and, and rocks. Well, unless they they're drunk while alive, because alcohol leads to the cauldron of Iblis, no matter what. But more on, the, on that in my next sermon, in the lands of the moonshiners, or as I call them, the possessed uh, uh, ugly old men. Guys, let's get out of here. I'm afraid we're not welcome in the so-called Atradne. Uh, just follow her with my eyes. Okay. Uh, what, what is that? Ooh. The stone in front of you looks like an ordinary, unassuming rock, big and clearly heavy. It's one of many in in this rocky land, but there's one detail that, that makes it stand out. Someone's got its initial BS. Uh, examine the rock? The person who cut the initials into the stone was diligent, yet clearly lacked skill and used makeshift tool. The, the work is crude, and the rock looks much like gravestone. Well, I have a spade. Oh shit, I broke my spade. You push spade under the rock and press at, at the handle, use it as a lever. Loud cracking noise and the spade break. Ah. Uh, I need to get help. What is hard job for one person? It's a piece of cake for a team. All together you make an effort to move the rock aside. Oh! That's 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 cool. It's a piece of, a sh of that shield, and but it's the cloth's journal. But goddammit, my shovel is now broken. Well, let's look at the journal. Last will and confession of the so-called museum creator Boris Boris Sviklov, written with utter self hate hatred by his own hand. A, sh a shame I bring to my grave. A piece of knowledge no alcohol in the world co could wash away. A fact that I had one job, one job in the whole world, to protect a priceless relic from history, shocking, history's shocking grasp. I failed at it. No use denying this. I failed and misery is my co only companion. I, w I was still naive uh, the day those awful atomic bombs started falling all over the country, thinking my town Krasnoznamionny was neck in the line of nuclear slaughter. I packed my things, ran, ran with my secretary and companion, companion Borya, but not before taking as many objects of historical value from local museum. I worked, uh, I worked it as I could carry, not like a marauder, but as a keeper, not a, not to pawn off somewhere, but to save. But it, did I do that? Did I save those fabulous relics, the mummified dog paw of Saint Christopher? The Ember Tripod, the Sword of Vasily the Peacekeeper, the Shield of Count Drayevsky. Alas, I lost them all to poverty, to hunger, to my newly found drinking habit. I held on to the shield the most. 
it, it being the symbol of my beloved Krasnoznamenny from the days it was still called Igrograd. I lost it at it. I, I lost it last. A quarter of a shield I pawned to a man tending a moonshiner then called the Drunken Lair. Okay. A qu a another quarter I gave to my poor friend Borya, who will bury me when my time will come. He will keep it as a reminder of his foolish friend in our hideous... in our hideout in mysterious caves. Uh, hmm. The third quarter I used in exchange for our life when a bunch of bandits from Eastern Camp assaulted us on the road. The last quarter I kept on to one day bury me with that. At least it will s uh, survive the tides of time, dear reader. Whether an archaeologist from a distant future or mere grave robber, please do not let my legacy die completely. This shield fragment finds... Uh, sh shield fragment find its... Find its brother and make it whole again. This is my final wish farewell. So one is at Moonshiner's lair. The other one is in mysterious cave somewhere. And the other one is some sort of a... Eastern camp of bandits. Uh, that doesn't help help a lot, really. Oh, look at that corn corn grew. Yeah, well, I don't really think I will bother picking it up and you know resewing it or or anything like that. So remember that beer that I just sold you. Can I have one? Where's all the beer? Oh, there it is. Just one, please. And... Here. We'll definitely don't... We'll not be needing this anymore. Did he get a zip gun? Because I don't think there was a zip gun before. Also, I think there was only one the gun. Why do they... the prices differ, though? I don't know. Hmm. What do we give him? I don't know, let's... do something like that. Okay. Here's your beer. No. Do we get... No, we don't get anything in here. About that thing. About the... The shield. In case of... These guys are getting... Going to the uh, what are they called moonshiners camp right and I will need to go there anyway so we'll go there a bit later probably from a Tradna, I'm thinking probably should go to the bunker and then uh, probably to Perigon and then to Drunken Lair. I wonder if I can cross or over here. I, I doubt it though. I'll probably have to go all the way around. Most likely, yeah. Okay. But anyways, I think I will make a cut here. In the next episode, we are be will be going to the bunker. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And goodbye.